So, Chef, I got some mackerel from Bechevec for you, per your request. What, what's your dish? What are we doing? Well, I think that when you get got this really wonderful fresh mackerel, the best way to cook it is basically not to. So I'm just going to give it a short salt and sugar cure. Okay. Basically the same way as when you make gravlax. Can you, okay. can you fillet it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just fillet it for you. Mm. Perfect. And then uh, just uh, slice it here along. Okay. Along the bones as you're taking the bones out. Yeah. Like that. And, and then you've got keep one. Keep the skin on or not? Keep the skin on. Yeah. Okay. There we go. One for you. And, and then, then do the clean? same uh, uh, on the other side. Clean, clean this off. Yeah. For, first, uh, just. I'll take off the center for yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Because then, and then take it, these bones off. Yeah. On the the side. rib bones. Yep. And now you've got this nice okay. boneless. There you bones. go. All right. I'll do these, and you go ahead and you start your magic. The thing is, uh, uh, mackerel, if it's fresh. It can be eaten raw, but I think that it's very nice if you just firm it up a little bit by sprinkling it with salt and sugar. And this is, uh, uh, this is something that has been used in Norway and in Scandinavia for a long time. So you've got to make your fish last all through winter. One way to preserve it is, is to smoke it, but another way is to cure it. So I'm just sprinkling with salt and sugar here. And, uh, so it's about 50-50 sugar salt? Yeah, a little more uh, uh, sugar than salt. Okay. And then just roll it in this. Uh, it's amazing. And this mackerel, is, there's no fishy smell at all no. when it's this fresh, right? And then uh, I'm adding a little bit of uh, smokiness to it as well. All right. So, so this is called Viking salt. It's a smoked kind of salt. So I'm just adding a, a good smoky smell. Yeah, a touch of it just yeah. to get that smoky note. Okay. And then some spices and of course spices don't really grow in Norway right but traditionally we've lived off not the land but of the sea and we've sold fish to the entire world right. and what we got back was you know fabrics right. uh, we would get paint right. we'd get spices yep. so spices have been in our cuisine for at least a thousand years okay so here I'm I'm adding some star anise right this is a little, some peppercorns. These are actually not uh, black pepper, but red peppercorns. Yeah, they look so, different. Yeah. So they've got this wonderful warm aroma to them. Still very peppery. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Coriander seed. Love it. Mm. And these spices will go very well together with the herbs that I'm going to okay. add as well. And I love the whole mortar and pestle. It just breaks them down, but it releases the oil. Yeah. Then you can, if you don't have a pestle and mortar, you can just use um, pepper mill. Right. But, but even, even better than that, I think, is actually to use um, a blender. Oh, just interesting. The, yeah. uh, be, because what you want is a result like this, when it's nice slightly uneven. Right. right. When you're eating, it's often much better if every bite you take tastes a, a little bit of different. So here yeah, you'll have, you, you'll have uh, uh, pieces and smaller, of- Bigger right? Yeah, bigger and smaller. So just sprinkle the fish with these spices. And then and typically how long do you grab locks for? You uh, well, uh, I, I think that when you have fresh fish like this, yep. it, it's, you, you can taste the difference after 15 minutes. Okay. You know, they have a firmer texture after a right. couple of days. Yep. But I think that the, that sort of almost sashimi-like uh, freshness to it, right. that's what comes across after just a day or so. Okay. Hmm. All right. So what else? We serve this just like this or you, you add no, some stuff? No. Now I'm going to just decorate them with a, a few herbs that will okay. sort of correspond. Right. From your garden. Mm -hmm. cut, cut this tail off. Yeah. Okay, that fits. There we go. Wow, chef. I'm uh, going to use different uh, herb flowers. So you get the oregano flavor, but you also get the, uh, the nectar from them. And you're trying to keep the nectar in the little mm. tulip. Mm. Okay. Awesome. When you're using the flowers, you get it completely I different. Love it. It's so, so pretty, dude. So it's oregano awesome. tastes like four or five different thing, things over the course right. of, a, of a season. And then some 
of uh, the tarragon. Uh, of the tarragon, not too much. It's quite, you know, a right. couple of leaves, so. and and I think that you know f uh, several of these flavors are licorice-like, which I love. Well. So so you have the star anise, right. you have uh, a bit of the uh, tarragon, uh, and you have the fennel. So if you and these are from the arugula, right? This yeah. is the flowers. All right, looking good, chef. I'm gonna have one cooked element, leek. Oh, charred leek. Yeah. Nice. So, one of the things that I find nice with uh, leek is uh, that you can you can really beat it up. Right. And and the outer layer is is totally charred. Right. But once you get in, it's beautiful and sweet. Oh, the inner layer. And sure. Ow, ow. Love it. And it's classic, you know, like with all your beautiful pickled herring, you serve onions, so leeks, of course, is a classic combination. Ooh, it's hot. It looks awesome. Oh, you can smell. Yeah. You know, this oh, one smells sweet. Yeah. Whereas here, here you get the. That's better. Yep. Yeah. Nice. But this has a nice smokiness to it. Yeah. I love that. One more there, chef. I'm just gonna add a um, couple of drops of dill oil as well. So what I, I do is I, I put it in a blender with just normal sunflower oil. Right. And I pour it through a sieve and you get this beautiful green oil. Wow, that is stunning. I love how simple this dish is. It's basically mm. salt, sugar, spices, and one grilled leek. Most Scandinavian fish and seafood recipes are just about investigating one aspect of that ingredient. Right. I think that that is a very good And letting the mackerel thing. shine. Yeah, it's Chef, all about the mackerel. That looks awesome. Before we eat, you gotta be my sous chef. I'm gonna do a quick tea-smoked mackerel, all right? Super. Can you be my sous? Yeah. Beautiful. Two minutes.